Hey everybody, it's Angie from Color Tree Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Little uh, miniature haul video for you guys. Um, this is actually from last week. Don't ask me what day because I don't remember. But I've had it sitting in a bag because I was going to do a little, you know, video for you guys. Everything that I got in this bag, I purchased for under $5.00. And there's enough stuff here to make lots of things with. First off being this tablecloth. It is a large tablecloth. It was a whole dollar. Now it does have a hole in it that has been patched. But that's okay because I'm going to use this for journal covers. So, you know, it'll, it'll be covered anyway. But, it also look at this pretty lace edging that it has on it. And if you look on the back side, well, it's, it's kind of hard to see. Maybe here on the front, you can see where it's just zigzag stitched on. And the corners are mitered, but I will have lots and lots and lots of wide lace once I get this all pulled apart. Um, trims. Now these aren't, it's not like I got yards and yards of trim. Maybe a yard of each, a little shy of some, or just a couple of feet. And this one I have all twisted up. Isn't that neat looking? It's perfect fall colors. Fall is just around the corner. Here's a little bunch of lace, yellow. Pretty eyelet lace. I'd like to have a lot more of that. And I didn't get this found until after I'd already put my uh, sunflower, my sunny days journal together, and I was kind of, kind of disappointed. <laughs> I almost took it and went and tried to find some uses for it, but I also wanted to get it up before the end of the month on uh, YouTube. And then here's some cordage. Cordage. Oh, cording. And I'm thinking that since the way these are lengthwise, um, they're almost identical in length. I bet these were tie backs for curtains. And then some hook and loop tape, which I have plans for this. It's uh, the sew on kind. I haven't found very much of that around here. Um, on the cheap side. I, I am frugal. Like this piece of fabric here. It's a uh, light upholstery fabric. And I got it for free. <laughs> here is some... Um, I forget the name of this, but it's trim. I got loads of this stuff. But not in that beige color. And here's some more cording. And this is a burgundy. And then here's some black. What would you guys do with this? Leave me a comment below and tell me. What would you do with cording? Because um, this is fairly thick. I bet this is... I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not real good on measuring things without an actual tape measure or ruler. But this stuff is almost... It's not, but I bet this is 3 8 inch. This wide cording like this, the black, the blue, and the other beiges. And here's another one. Here's some more of that edging. That taupe or beige. Taupe. Um, oh, I got a partial spool of this ribbon. I mean, it's got quite a few yards left, and it's thick. Um, almost papery and I thought that would make excellent spine reinforcement so of course I had to get that let's see it said it had 6 yards 2 and 5 eighths inch wide let's see what else oh there's another piece or two of cording another black piece and another taupe Oh, and then this. Aren't these 
neat. I don't know what I'll do with this. I've got to make some bright junk journals. This is uh, holographic plastic. Let's see what else. Um, oh, this trim. I've already got plans for it, or at least some of the flowers off of it. It's just pink and green. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. And then I think I mentioned in my uh, other junk journal video for my design team for Lindsay, I was talking about all the sequins. Well, I bought some too at the Dollar Tree, but these are holographic. There's a pretty long piece of them. And here's some stretchy. I, I imagine this was probably used for a child's waistband or headband or something along those lines. <clears throat> Pardon me. And here's some green holographic. And it also stretches. See, it's an S pattern. I, I like looking at things like this and figuring out how some things are made because sometimes I can't afford all the fancy schmancy stuff I'd like to have. So I try to replicate it. And I'm not talking about just in junk journals. I mean, period. Like um, jewelry, stuff for my kids. When you're a single income family, um, you kind of have to do that. And I don't make enough in my Etsy shop. Uh, to make a living at it, I just like to have money so I can craft more. <laughs> so that's what I do. And if there's bonus, you know, overage, that's awesome. Check these out. I wanted to get them open. See, these are little. I guess they're metal. Um, they're, these have popped open these beads, but there's lots of them that haven't. Let me focus. But there's two pieces of this. I was driving my husband nuts in the car when we were driving after I bought this. He was like, do you mind? I was like, no, do you? <laughs> there's another piece. This would be awesome on a boho journal. Da -da -da. Alright, I'll stop. There there's... What, buddy? Oh, you heard my jingles? Mm hmm. And there are these. Baby wants to jingle? Alright, go jingle. Oh, that's right. Did, you... Did I show these? Yep, go jingle, buddy. <laughs> and then these, so she taped the ends, or he, but I assume a she because you can smell a very floral, uh, I'm guessing perfume. These are neat. And then, let's see, another piece of that. Again, yes, those are gold, buddy. It's more of the long dangles. Some of these iridescent greens and pinks and yellows. Let me get a good. But yeah, I got all of this trim. I mean, that's a pretty good size pile of trim. And this for less than five dollars. I think it was like four and a quarter. Um, so you can buy and find lots of things for cheap and a good amount of it. Yeah, sometimes we might not know what to do with all of it because see these were grab bags. It's okay. But um, you know, you just have to play around and see what you can do. Anyway. Oh, don't pull it. I'm gonna get off here. And I will talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.